Colts don't really tend to get the best rep, and that's probably for good reason. As when some charismatic leader with the radical ideology tries to get their followers to do some weird shit, it usually doesn't end well for anyone. But I wanna, I want you to hear me out on this one. What if we took the best video game to ever exist and started like a cool cult in it, just without all the um pack suicides or uh believing in omnipotent space aliens like all those um those lame cults do? I mean, the only question we'd really need to tackle is what specifically would the cult be about? Like what are our beliefs, our core tenets, who can join, and who do we worship? Or what do we worship? I mean, what in TF2 could even be deemed cult-worthy? <laughs> what if I were to say the answer to this question had been in front of us all along? That's right, in every video, every tweet, every Discord message, it had been hiding in plain sight. The greatest weapon to grace TF2's existence, the most powerful, well-designed, it could even be considered borderline broken. That's right, baby. We are the cult of classic. If you decide to equip the classic, you are voluntarily handicapping yourself in the name of the funny. Because this thing really sucks, and I want to get that out of the way as quickly as possible before we unpack why this weapon can be super fun, because it is undoubtedly the worst sniper rifle by pretty much every conceivable measure. If we take a look at its stats, we gain the ability to charge up our sniper without having to scope in, which is a pretty cool concept. It means that for once in our lives, we actually have some degree of situational awareness as sniper. I know. I know it's groundbreaking stuff for some of you, but just hold on because there's actually a couple of downsides we got to look at, starting with 10% reduced body shot damage, meaning we can't delete a medic with a fully charged shot as it will only do 135 damage. Well, hey, that's not too much of a big deal, right? We could just aim for the head like any professional with standards would and kill them that way. Technically, yeah, we can actually do that, um, as long as we wait 3.3 seconds until our shot is fully charged because that's the only time this weapon can headshot. So you might now start to see the slight drawback to using the classic over something like stock, as we can't really delete light classes in 0.2 seconds from anywhere on the map like we used to, which is like the the whole reason why Sniper is a borderline broken class. So yeah, if a soldier, pyro, demo man, heavy, battle engine or medic decides to charge you down before that 3.3 seconds of charges up, just pay for a quick and relatively painless death because you are fucked. But no, 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 this, this is a cult. We're, ma we're making a cult, goddammit, and we have standards. Everyone already knows that this is a meme weapon and it's not groundbreaking news that it sucks. So let's, let's look past all of that because I want to tell you why you should become a disciple in the cult of classic. Now, if I had to use one word to describe the classic and what it's like to use in game, it would easily be satisfaction because every small detail about this weapon seems like it was designed to maximize the hee hee happy chemical production in your brain. And that all starts with its charge up mechanic. Now, if it wasn't obvious enough, you have to use this weapon proactively rather than reactively. And what I mean by that is if you aren't preemptively charging your shot before you peek around literally every corner, you will die. There's no two ways about it, because if you decide to turn a corner without any care in the world and are greeted by an enemy scout, what exactly can you do to them besides give them a little tickle with that cute 45 damage body shot? No! So that means the name of the game is, well, Game Sense. And I think that's partially why it is so damn satisfying to use this thing, as a sniper is a class who is usually associated with mechanical skill and clicking heads real good, rather than understanding the rhythm of the game. So it's a refreshing change, because if we flip that previous scenario and we actually decide to approach that corner with the mindset that an enemy is almost definitely going to be there, charging up and successfully hitting that shot makes you think, damn, I kind of predicted that, which isn't always the type of dopamine rush you're getting on Sniper. Yeah, look at me go. Now, in theory, the classic allows you to be way more aware of your surroundings because you retain your full degree of vision while charging up a shot which makes it a lot easier to reactively flick to an enemy who is trying to sneak up on you. Now this is definitely the weapon's biggest upside, as it means we can avoid becoming one of those oblivious, hard-scoping snipers who see the world exclusively through the barrel of their scope and don't really understand the idea of object permanence yet. This does mean, however, that your biggest problem when using the classic actually becomes this idea of overchoice. There have been countless scenarios where there are like 10 enemies on my screen and I kind of get paralyzed by indecision as I don't know who to actually shoot and kill. But it's important to note that this isn't like an actual problem and more of a suffering from success type thing. But sometimes being tunnel visioned on a single enemy with a stock sniper rifle 
really does make it a lot easier to choose your target. And look, whilst we're on the topic of no scoping, I would like to point out that in my humble opinion, it's like a hundred times more satisfying to no scope an enemy than to kill them while zoomed in. I don't know if it's because their player model is smaller and therefore physically harder to aim at, but god, does hitting a fully charged no scope headshot on an enemy feel good? I don't care if it's some unsuspecting free to play heavy who is basically AFK on the front line, or if it's some Div 1 rocket jumping soldier at the apex of their jump. Because when you line that shot up and it hits, ooh, it is that rush which keeps you coming back for more. But before I get too ahead of myself, I should probably mention to you that the scope on the classic very much still exists and you can use it if you want. It definitely helps at taking down enemies from longer ranges where it's just sometimes too damn hard to figure out what is a wall and what is your opponent's head. I find this especially useful because in games like CSGO, my ability to decipher enemies at range is god awful, so it can really help out in that department. You can also come in clutch when you're in that fight or flight scenario, as scoping in does provide a layer of safety as it usually tends to be easy to hit shots. But I would encourage you to no scope as often as possible because uh, that's kind of the whole point of running the classic. Now before I progress onto the actual best section about the classic, I do need to direct your attention to something I said in the script a short while ago. <coughs> in theory. Because yes, in theory, you should be more aware of your surroundings whilst being unscoped with the classic, but that still didn't stop the swarm of spies who were addicted to ruining my day. No worries, mate. I know spies are supposed to give you a hard time as sniper, but whilst I was getting footage for this video, I seriously don't think I have ever been so brutally cyberbullied by random spies stabbing me over the internet. I know the classic is supposed to give me an upper hand against spies, and who knows, maybe they would fuck me even harder if I was using the stock sniper rifle, but god. Make sure you are turning around every few seconds whilst charging up, because they will come to you like moths to a flame. And you know what? Whilst I'm at it, enemy snipers? Nah, you're fucked. Because if you see each other at the same time, you have to wait 15 times longer than they do to even have a chance of killing them. So if you aren't prepared when you turn a corner, expect imminent death. Not being able to headshot unless you are fully charged just means you become the enemy sniper's bitch, and you have to learn to respect it because the odds are incredibly stacked against you if you are facing off against even a semi-competent sniper. Your best bet is to either catch them using an off angle that they aren't expecting, or pray that they have a god-awful reaction time so that you can slow peek them and still manage to get the kill in time. But god, it is one brutal matchup. God fuck, no I did it again, I, I did it again, I didn't mean to do this. You, you guys are soon to be disciples, so look, we'll stop with all this blasphemy, because we are yet to talk about the single greatest element that the classic has to offer. Aesthetics. I have been waiting for this entire video to talk about the single greatest idea Valve ever had, and that was giving a sniper rifle gib explosions. There is no way greater to reward a fully charged no scope headshot than by seeing that beautiful explosion of blood that the classic provides. I am not joking when I say that this is easily my favorite part about the weapon. So whilst it's just super fun to play around with, the blood explosion, man, it's one of those things I can't really put into words and express that way. You, you simply have to try it yourself. You know, you'll see some scout trying to get up all close and personal with you, and you can simply say, no, you are now blood. <gasps> Damn, when you see a soldier or demo man racing through the sky, and with one clean shot, you can send their gibbs back to the respawn queue. Removing overconfident enemies has kind of become my new strange addiction, as putting them in their place with that mist of blood is just so god damn satisfying. And the aesthetics don't end there either, because it also has the sleek form factor, the muffled sound of it firing, its air-piercing tracer, and the laser, actually the laser the laser has some problems, that, that, that thing glitches out um, all over the place when you scope in. But you get what I'm trying to say. To be honest with you, everything about this weapon from start to finish just screams cool. That refreshing satisfaction of predicting your enemies, the ability to hit unscoped headshots, and its cool ass aesthetic all amalgamate into this stupidly fun and satisfying meme weapon. So if I had to summarize how glorious it is to use this weapon, I'd simply show you this one clip of me absolutely destroying my friend. Soldier on his head or demo? No, it was a demo, it was me. Yep. A demo on his head. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, I was <laughs> you see that? It didn't even need to be a headshot for me to have my dopamine dose for the day. And it's for that reason why I would like to formally announce the formation of the Cult of Classic. 
Now, as the world's first cool cult, we refused to partake in that whole radical world philosophy business. So instead, our core beliefs and tenets will remain fairly simple. Number one, use the classic every now and then. We're not too strict about it, just, just have some fun. Uh, number two, make sure you have Gibbs enabled in your config so you can appreciate the beautiful bloody explosions that this thing produces. And three, verbally harass any sweaty snipers you find in casual who refuse to swap to the classic. What is this guy doing? Dude. Do you not have one? Throwing, Do you need me to send you one? I'm trying, to buy, no, I'm trying to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> buy it. <laughs> Do you want one? I can get you one. Get like a stranger off the market. Oh, yeah, right, off the market. Yeah, I'll get Yeah, that'd be cheaper than buying. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. I got it. It's... Oh, okay. So here's what you can do. Go to your backpack and then sort by quality and it will appear. Uh, it says I bought it, but it has not a main event yet. Pretty sure you just have to die and then you can... Then yeah, actually true. Type kill and then it'll appear. You'll like you get a notification. <laughs> Just telling a guy to kill himself. Yeah, right? nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> go, we got Here we go. Here we go. Just got it. Just got it. Yes! Oh my god. Next round, yes. th we're actually going to first hold them. Professional kill streak classic. Ooh, he's going all out. Let's go. No, it's. it's no, he. No, is this. No, 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 uh, so, do you know how it works? It's like a reverse sniper. You have to, like, charge it before you fire. Oh, right. Gotcha. Like, it's objectively the worst sniper, but it's so funny. Oh, hey, the sniper doesn't charge up. You have to hold left click. You have to hold left click. Even with scoping. Yeah. It's like a reverse sniper. I can't get out of school. I can't use this shit, eh? No, you can, you can. No, Zach, what's happened? No. That gun's a heap of shit. Alright. Look, I respect the commitment. You, you tried, at least. Yeah, he tried it. That's all that matters. He, he did it. For legal reasons, that last tenant is partially a joke. But yeah, come join the cult of classic Steam group because we're going international with that shit. And you know what? On top of that, you should check out this sick-ass unusual effect my friend made and get that shit into the game. Look, it's like the, the heavy on the moon. It's awesome. Go vote for it now. Okay, with all that shilling out the way, I'm excited to see the direction the cult takes because I feel like this could be very, very funny. Also, if I don't have to verse as many Mac and a body shotting snipers because of this video, uh, that's um, that's a dub in my books. Anyway, that's all from me. Come join the Steam group, the Cult of Classics. Start using it today, and hopefully, I'll see you again sometime soon.